Hey everybody, today doing something I almost never do and it's a cold start. So I got out here to the golf course at the Village Golf Club in Royal Palm Beach, Florida and have only a few minutes. The next group is on number nine, so I jumped out to number 11, have a lesson at 10 o'clock. But I wanted to get in a few holes and I'm just gonna show you the good, the bad, uh, and whatever happens and uh, talk you through how I go about playing in a case like this. So since I haven't hit balls yet. Today I made a couple practice swings um, here on the side and uh, what I do basically what I'm going to do is just reinforce what I do with the driver which for me uh, to swing the club on a single plane it's always having the feeling that I take the club a little bit outside on the back swing and then in the through swing I feel like I'm going through like that so the face stays square and it feels like a cut but when you look at it on video uh, the path is absolutely neutral. So uh, this is a par five. Uh, it's about 250 to that bunker out there. And I'm using the Golf Logix app, which allows you to see uh, how far it is to different objects. Obviously, you can use a laser also. Uh, I actually use both. So when I want to zero in on the pin, I'll do that. Because I'm not warmed up, I did a little stretching is all. Uh, what I'm going to do is start with about a three quarter driver swing here. See if I can get it out uh, to that bunker. It's a nice little par five here. I think it's over 500, so we'll see. I'd like to aim the face at the target where I want to go so I see a bunker in the distance. I might even check here because I really haven't done much lately. Getting at the end of the season here. Oh, a little bit tight, but right down the middle. Down the left side, could be a little bit below my feet, a little bit of a lie below my feet there on the next shot, but we'll take a look. So it's such a nice day, I just wanted to get out and see if I can play a few holes. I've only played twice this year so far. And really basically our season here in, in South Florida, uh, for me at least, is through March. And so after this, I'm heading up to Cincinnati, do a couple schools up there, and then North Carolina. And I'll be uh, every, about every month in Cincinnati doing a couple of my three-day schools and playing tournaments in between when I get a chance. So I wanted to get out and get a few swings in with the new clubs. If you didn't see my recent video, what's in the bag, I talk about all my new clubs that I'm using. And so I'm still getting used to them a little bit and we'll see. So here's my ball. So I have 266 yards to the pin. This one's kind of interesting because there's a bunker short of the green. It's only about 190 though. So if I can hit a five wood over that, I'm not so sure because I'm not warmed up. If I can hit this uh, new five wood, the AI smoke five wood from a downhill, kind of a bad lie in the fairway. A lot of times we'll play the ball up, uh, but I'm gonna just play this one just to get used to some not so great lies. Uh, so it's a little bit of a downhill slope. So I expect it to be a lower shot. I'm gonna play it a little bit back in my stance because of the downhill lie. Find your distance from the ball, get used to the lie. And we're gonna go nice and slow here on this swing. Oh yeah, I really feel not being warmed up. So that's down the right side. So it came off the lie. The one thing I didn't talk about, it's a little bit below my feet. So the ball will tend to go a little bit to the right. Probably mostly not being warmed up though. Should have just a little uh, pitch to the green. Not sure how far, but what was it, 260. So shouldn't be more than 50, 60 yards. So I'm playing the Callaway Chrome X Tour or Chrome Tour X uh, ball for the first time. 61 yards to the pin. It looks like it's right behind the bunker, so I have to see. It'll be a good test to see if this ball uh, will have enough spin. So I have my lob wedge, 60 degrees. And again, side hill lies, so it's above my feet. And that's one of the things I like about going on the golf course, and I recommend that uh, to my clients. Go out on the golf course and play because you don't have these shots on the range. So you could hit a bunch of 60-yard shots, but you're almost always doing it from a flat perfect lie 
Uh, here it's on a side hill, so it's above my feet. Uh, also slightly downhill, so I can see this is above the ball here. And so for 60 yards, I'm typically making a swing to about here. So it's about a nine o'clock swing with my lead arm, but I would say just below that. So I'll just go, I pick a swing I trust and then just do it. Came out pretty low and not too bad. It's rolling quite a bit though. So because it was pretty low, it kind of skipped out. It looks like I might have a 20 footer or so. We'll see when we get up there. So it was a decent shot. I wanted to make sure on that uh, just to pick a swing length um, and hit it, not worry about the bunker. So you, the worst thing you can do is worry about hitting it too far and then put the brakes on it and, and dump it in the bunker. So, so I'm not sure how good this is gonna show up. Um, what I'm doing here, four, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So uh, quite a bit farther than I wanted to hit that. So 36 foot putt and I'm looking for the grain on the greens here in South Florida. We always have some grain. It looks like it's kind of going that way. And you can tell because it's more shiny if you look into the grass this way and it's darker here. So I'm just gonna just go with my instinct and just let it feel. Let me try to feel how much swing do I need. Of course, I haven't hit a putt here either. And I'm just gonna go with it. We'll see how it turns out. Rolled it dead straight. And greens are a little bit slower than I thought. Looks like a pretty straight pot. I think it, if anything, it's gotta die a little bit to the left. So I just line up the ball. I use the line on the ball. I always tend to line it up too far to the left though. So that's right at the hole. So we're gonna move it a little bit off, a little bit to the right. I also use the ball marker with a triple track on it. Double check this, yeah. So this is about an inch outside right. And again, I'm just gonna try to see if I can roll it straight. Perfect roll and well by. So that's what I was worried about from the other side. Again, trying to line up the ball right at the hole this time. So we saved the three putt. So Not this is hole number 12 here at the Village Golf Club. Long par four and I'm gonna be trying to hit it at the White House along the edge of the trees over there. Um, the wind kind of into me, kind of off the right, so it's gonna make this difficult hole play even a little bit more difficult. Again, I'll make my little swing rehearsal, just trying to feel the path that I want, what feels like a little cut. And then I'm gonna aim the face where I wanna go. And then I'm gonna go for it. That's a pretty good line down the right side. Stayed in the air a long time. Still tight, but it feels like I'm warming up a little bit better now, so it's feeling a little bit better. So this is kind of interesting. My ball must have kicked down here, uh, but I hit it at close to where I aimed, maybe 10 yards right, so I guess that's the difference. The fairway's like uh, six yards from me, so. That explains if I got about what I wanted in, about 144. So typically it'd be a nine iron, but because I'm not warmed up, I also have a bit of a root here. Could be, a, here's another one. So got some issues here. So I see there's a root in front here or an old tree, but it looks like if I hit that, yeah, I don't know. So because I'm just here practicing, I'm gonna actually try to swing. I'm gonna to try to swing through a little bit to the right. So I'm gonna hit a little, so I'm gonna close the face just a little bit, just because I don't wanna go through them the way I normally would, would hit this. 
And so I'm going to hit a little bit of a draw here with a three-quarter eight iron. Oh, it hit. So the club did hit the root pretty hard. Ball landed on the green. Club looks okay. So not what I wanted to do as far as hitting the, the tree, but so again, those are the kind of shots you can't really practice and uh, the practice you get is on the golf course. So you really want to uh, get out on the course and play, even if it doesn't go the way you want. So that turned out pretty good there with the eight iron shot. Use my ball mark. So I'll take this and I'll line it up just right now where I think I'd like to aim the putt. So just not, nothing too exact. And then I'll walk it off. So nine steps, so 27 plus a foot. So let's call it 28 feet. So I would take the pin out here, but I'll leave it in just because we're filming. I see the grain looks like it's going kind of this way. So that's going to tend to throw the putt this way and the break. Yeah, I'm going to aim it a foot to the left. And now I'm just thinking about speed, how much swing. I came up really short on my first attempt on the other hole. And so here it's about how much swing do I need to make to get it there. Give it a chance, see if we can get one back here. Like big hop, turn, oh, almost. So it hopped through this hole here and gave it a good run. The ball made a big jump. The good thing, I got to see the break going past the hole. And so I know that it's gonna break to the left. It's a decent slope, I think about two degrees. And since it's about a four footer, I'm gonna play and the grain's going to the left. I'm playing it about two inches outside. So I'm just gonna try to hit it straight with my line on the ball and just let it go. So perfect. One of the things I love about the 360 triple track is that the line goes all the way around. So when you hit it perfect, it just stays like that, and rolls perfectly like that. And that's what I'm looking for when I practice. And then here on the course, I saw it Almost every putt goes in when I do that, when I hit it perfect. Um, and so it's a great thing to look at. Uh, so I'm so far really liking uh, these golf balls. So here you see a nice picture from the 13th tee. It was supposed to be a video, uh, but I hit a nice three wood down the right side here. It's a dog leg left, par four, tricky little hole. And it just ran through the fairway into the rough. And then I hit a nice nine iron up there about nine feet from the hole. Um, unfortunately, we missed both of those shots. I also realized I talk way too much in some of this, so I'm going to try to cut that down in future videos. So moving ahead to the green for the birdie putt. So that's where I hit the nine iron shot that we missed just because I had a little camera, camera problem. I hit a nice nine iron into here, but have a pretty slopey putt for birdie. If I could, I'd fire myself from the camera duties and pay somebody to do it. Green again, it slopes really strong down that way really slopey putt. So I like the line here. So now all I have to do is get the speed to match it, put it down there, hope it takes enough break. Oh, I played way too much break. Easy par though. So that's too bad. That was a good birdie chance, but you got to take the good with the bad. So we got 166 yards here and I'm teeing off a little bit ahead of the markers just because there's a slope here for the camera. So don't call the rules people on me. So 166, we got a strong wind to the right. And so I'm going to pick a target over to the left side of the green, basically the middle of the green. If the wind pushes it over a little bit, that's fine. So I'm going to hit a six iron. And again, about three quarters, just because the wind's stronger than it feels like. And I need to stay well left here for obvious reasons. Um, again, trying to make the same type swing here. A uh, little bit of a cut type swing. Picking a target about 30 feet left of the flag. Caught it a hair thin. It's at the flag, 
see if it gets up there. I think it's on the green. And so one of the reasons I got these clubs um, is you catch them thin on the face, uh, they still go pretty decent distance. Uh, that was fairly low on the face, uh, probably down in here and a little bit to the toe. Something I do sometimes, basically standing too far from the ball, it's something left over from the Mo Norman days when I tried to swing like Mo. Um, it's taken a long time to find the distance that suits me best and uh, it makes a big difference. But a little bit too far away from the ball there at setup. And let's see where the ball ended up. I think it's on the green. So the ball's there just on the fringe. Put the camera here behind the hole. So 11 steps, so about 33 feet, pretty much uphill. Can't line up the ball. So I'm also judging the fringe a little bit. It looks like the fringe is also maybe a bit into the grain. So that's gonna really affect it as well. And so I'm gonna try, I think it's pretty straight here up the hill with the grain kind of this way. And so I'm just gonna try to lag it up there close, maybe get lucky. So not too bad there. Got it into the gimme range, at least for me where I don't have to use the line on the ball. So easy par there, a little bit of a miss hit off the tee, but I'm happy with that, tough hole. So here number 15, straight away, par four. Um, I'm gonna try to hit it out there. You see I put the mock on Golf Logics, about 265, uh, which I might get that carry distance here uh, with the wind. I'm not 100% warmed up yet. I'm just going to try to hit it straight down. Should have a face on shot here for you as well. I just need to make sure that I get a feeling of my path going to the left and that I get lined up. I like to feel like I'm lined up a little bit down the left center of the fairway as well. Down the right side, which could be pretty good. So the pin's just under that tree there on the right, and I got 141 yards. Little bit of a wind, and short's a little bit better than long, so I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge. And try to get a feel for it. See if I can hit it like I hit that nine iron. The other hole. Try to feel impact. A little bit thin. It's right up there on the edge of the green. So thank you, clubs. Got away with another thin shot. So one thing I can definitely say is it's a lot more fun to start after warming up than it is trying to do it on the golf course, which my clients will tell you, especially at my golf schools, that I'm always saying, get there early, warm up, hit some balls, get there an hour before, it's really worth it. And you can see why I'm just kind of scraping it around, hit some thin shots and my body still feels a little tight. I typically need about you know 30 to 40 balls uh, to get warmed up and that's with some practice swings as well. So uh, it really makes a big difference. Uh, still, it's kind of fun. I can scrape it around here, uh, have some shots I wouldn't normally have, and uh, try to play as decently as I can. It's also interesting to see how long it takes to get warmed up. So pretty lengthy putt here from off the green, but I'm gonna putt it because the grain's going this way. Um, so this is gonna be just like green here. So 19 steps, so uh, we have a 57 foot putt. Little bit of mud on the ball, uh, shouldn't affect it too much. 
But again, I'm just gonna try to get in here, get lined up. I know I'm not real good at aiming the putter, and so that's why I use the lines on the balls this starting this year. Uh, but I do the best I can on a long putt. It's about getting the speed. So I try to use the practicing, so I'm rehearsing how much, and then I just try to go with that when I get to the ball. You saw a big bounce here in the beginning. Turned out pretty good. So I'm watching the ball, so it turns straight to the right. And so I kind of put the camera where I anticipate aiming this as well. I have my marker there first. Take a peek from this side. So really quite a slope this way. So I'm aiming in here, even though it's just a six foot putt. I think there's gonna be, now the greens are pretty slow. So I'm gonna play a little less break. I'm gonna play about four inches Call it three inches to the left. I lined up the ball right there, I hope. See if I'm getting better at that. That's about four inches, so let's try just a little bit less. So because it's uphill and the green's fairly slow, I'm playing it about an inch outside left. So I've changed it again. And I adjusted my right hand a little bit, just so I can't close the face. And we're just gonna hit it dead straight. You see, I hit it right through the break. I hit it right where I aimed. So unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. Uh, it's a couple over for about five holes, I guess. and. Uh, again, it's a cold start and it's something uh, you want to avoid if you can, but try to play your way through it. I hope you learned something here. If you're interested in learning an easier way to swing a golf club, uh, visit setupforimpact.com. I have a complete new learning program. Uh, it's going to be in an app form soon and, and it gives you the ability to send in videos uh, for my review. Just follow my learning program step by step and I will guide you every step through the way so you can customize this simple concept of setting up on your impact plane and then swinging on a single plane back and through to just simplify the game. So even a bad day is not so bad and your good days are better. So let me help you play the best golf of your life. I look forward to uh, helping you every step of the way. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.